John here, guys, and today we're talking about what would happen if you took the Catalyst Machine Works massive droner and gave it one of those mushrooms from Super Mario Brothers. Probably something like this. This is the five inch raging droner by Catalyst Machine Works. Check out the retail packaging on this thing. It's Lopan from Big Trouble in Little China. All I know is this low pan character comes out of thin air in the middle of a goddamn alley while his buddies are flying around on wires cutting everybody to shreds and he just stands there waiting for me to drive my truck straight through him with light coming out of his mouth. And check out the back. It's Spock because any other racing frame would be illogical. Most illogical. The brand new latest racing frame that has just dropped this week and take a look at the similarities between the massive droner and this raging droner this is the more massive droner three inch version um and take a look at the consistency of catalyst machine works design language and engineering that goes into these frames and then we will take a look at some of the differences and improvements that they have made for this five inch racing version so for those of you that are familiar with the other racing frames by Catalyst Machine Works, like the Norris back in the day, the SL5, the Speed Attic, or the very popular America, know that they're quite famous for their staggered arm design that uses um, these small little spacers in order to create that staggered effect. Um, but in this new design, they actually reduce the number of spacers needed to only two. So there's only going to be those spacers in the rear. Um, I really, really like this setup. Um, for anybody that's built a Catalyst Machine Works frame, you know that often working on one of those frames is kind of like working on a Ferrari for a car guy. You know that you're getting the maximum amount of performance available, but they're not always the easiest to wrench on. So I appreciate the improvements that they have made here that allow you to have that same level of performance and they have added a lot of ease of use and ease of build uh, functionality here. So I left, uh, I went ahead and installed an axis stubby on the back here so you can see how the antenna mount works. There's a 3D printed piece right here um, and there's going to be standoffs that go here and here that kind of hold all this stuff in place which is quite nice. Now, um, for those of you who are looking for a new racing frame and want to get on the hybrid craze this is actually the hybrid version so we have five inch arms in the front and six inch arms in the back uh, one other announcement before i go any further uh, and that is i am now uh, i now have dealer access to catalyst machine works so very grateful for them for this new uh, venture that we're working on um, together as a partnership where i will be selling some of these frames i'm not opening a shop or anything like that um it's more like i was just talking with neil the owner that a lot of times in the videos people start to figure out that i cover a lot of stuff i can't keep it all you know this this channel is not sponsored so in order for me to get the new things in i have to sell the things that have been on the channel so in order to get those things out uh i'll people figure it out hey what do you got what do you got coming up next? And people are buying stuff before the videos even come out, uh, sometimes frequently. Um, so I'm very grateful to those people because they know me to have the channel. But when other people come after that, they want to get um, some stuff. I, I just don't have it. So now I'm hopefully going to be able to say, yes, I do have whatever you want. So I have a plethora of accessories and raging drone or frames. I have a whole box of them. So if you want one of these, either the standard version, the hybrid version, or you want one of these 3D printed turtle mode fans, just let me know and I'm happy to get you one over there. Uh, just PM me or leave me a comment or something. Uh, the other cool thing that I have is this awesome catalyst sticker that I got from Neil personally. Yes, I love that. It's gonna go in my toolbox that I'm gonna carry it all around to all my races. Speaking of the turtle mode fan, here is the design of some awesome 3D uh, print to TPU print and look there's a little space in here that you can use to fit your uh, if for whatever reason you don't have uh, space to fit it in your stock and it fits perfectly right there and then it just goes around this front brace this is what it looks like with the turbo fan on and here's the little holes um, right underneath here 
that are where it gets uh, held on by. Um, so this is cool as an option um, that you can add to your build. I, I like that there is the traditional Catalyst Machine Works brace here, but this thing was so much easier to build than Save America or Smooth Opera hair frames. Uh, a lot of times bringing home a new Catalyst Machine Works is so much fun because it's like bringing home a new Transformer when you were a kid and you wanted to bust it out and uh, figure out how that transformation occurred. And sometimes it was easy, sometimes it was difficult. And a lot of times these things were, were not easy, but satisfying once you figured it out. And uh, I appreciate that this one is a little bit easier, but still have that same satisfaction once you get it all together. So what are some other notable improvements here? Um, it has built-in antenna holders here for your uh, XM Plus or other Fry Sky. Um, it has, of course, the staggered arms as usual. And when you're putting this thing together, you actually kind of press fit this front brace, these two slit plates, and this rear little piece right here, and they all slide in together as one. It goes together so easy. <laughs> I can't wait to finish the build on this thing. And if you look, there's a lot of room in there front to back. Your camera is so far away from your stack. I know that those of us who build up other racing frames like the Floss or even the America know that depending on the stack you use, you can kind of run into some trouble when you're trying to adjust your camera angle up because that connector at the back can start to run into your stack. Well, like the other Droners, the camera is brought so far forward that that's no longer an issue. You have a literally a ton of space. And look at the height. That you have here from this bottom plate up to this cage. There's so much room that you should be able to have no problems. I love this that you now have the performance of the Catalyst Machine Works build along with the ease of use, ease of build of some of the other frames. And this is never before something that you could have in tandem. It's very difficult to have both ease of use, um, ease of replacement. Um, and ultimate performance and this offers all three so i'm really excited to get this thing built up i'm gonna go ahead and go and start building it tonight so that i can get some footage of this thing flying around i'm really super excited to finally have the new catalyst frame and i'm really excited to be able to offer those frames to you if anyone wants one so i'm not gonna be like i said i'm not starting a store so i'm not gonna be stocking like a thousand of these things but if anybody wants one just send me a, a pm or or email me or send me a message on Instagram also. I'm uh, J-O-N underscore E5. I'll put that on the screen right here. And uh, what do you guys think? Are you guys gonna be rocking this raging droner? Uh, can't wait for it. Thanks guys.